Well, in this lecture, we will learn how to enter two-way ANOVA data in SPSS software. Entering two-way ANOVA data in SPSS software is something uh, like uh, tougher than uh, analyzing uh, two-way ANOVA data in SPSS software. So I am making easy uh, with the text material. So here it is a uh, IGNO material which I selected for uh, okay, entering data and calculation for today purpose. So here is a researcher. He wants to test uh, four diets uh, called ABCD. And growth rate of mice okay so there are four diets or treatments like a b c d so this is uh, one uh, type of uh, treatment and uh, these animals are divided into again three groups according to their weights so there are three blocks according to their weight okay so some experiment random experiment made on my i mice to the animals after 15 days the the values are noted here we want to perform two way ANOVA. Okay, here I, I will have to consider independent variable and dependent variable. While you are performing two way ANOVA, there must be two independent variable and one dependent variable. That dependent variable must be considered on scale data, and independent variable must be scale, considered on nominal or ordinal data. So here types or treat, uh, treatment and diets occurred uh, ABCD can be categorized as ABCD. So I will consider treatment types as uh, uh, independent variable and one more independent variable is blocks. Blocks are also independent variable and growth rate. The growth rate in mice occurred these values I will consider it as dependent variable. So now let us enter the data in the SPSS software. So treatment treatment treatments called a b c d so by default it is selecting so it means treatments type okay in the treatment types we have four types of treatment treatment a treatment b treatment c treatment a and d so we'll we will have to enter the uh, treatments so one value treatment a I will enter this data and second one treatment B I will enter this data also in the third one treatment C I will enter this also and fourth one treatment D I will enter this also there are four types of treatment I have entered as I told you in the measure for treatment I have considered as a dependent variable sorry independent variable so treatment can be categorized ABCD since I am uh, I'm considering as ordinal data the type of treatment you give on the mice the level of blocks to the level of blocks you give will affect the growth rate in mice that's why I have considered treatments and blocks as independent variable the growth rate depend on treatment types and blocks level of blocks okay so now i will have to add blocks so blocks blocks uh, the label for blocks blocks level based on the weight in the blocks there are three blocks as you seen in the problem block one two three i will have to add those three blocks block one block two and last one block three so i added this as i said you this is a ordinal data i will consider it as ordinal and last one growth rate growth rate on mice so growth rate the label can i will give growth rate of of mice okay in the here values i am not considering values i will worry on level of measure so level of measure since it is a dependent variable will consider as scale data okay now in the data view i will have to enter data so treatment abcd are there let us count uh, the number of uh, sample in each a b c d in the a treatment there are three sample so c b treatment also three sample d c also three sample so i will have to enter so that first code is three 
and second code is also 3 third code is also 3 and fourth code is also 3 because in each a b c a d there are three sample each and blocks there are three blocks but very very carefully we have to consider here blocks because for treatment we have given a treatment to block one a treatment to block two a treatment to block three in the same way only we have to consider otherwise the problem will be uh, completely wrong okay so we cannot consider this uh, 1 12 8 6 5 we have to consider in the treatment a block 1 in the treatment a block 2 in the treatment a block 3 okay very importantly keep in your mind in the treatment a block 1 in the treatment a block 2 in the treatment a block 3 so in the same way in the treatment b block 1 in the treatment b block 2 in the treatment b block 3 okay so 1 2 3 again same thing one. so decimal we have considered two decimal that's why it is taking like that and 1 2 3 one two three so we have considered rightly blocks now we will have to enter growth rate the growth rate is exactly this value okay so in the treatment a block one value is 12 treatment a block one okay in the treatment a block 2 15 in the treatment a block 3 14 like that you have to enter so i have entered here data just i will copy and paste it into the spaces software to make it faster okay so look at here if you want to cross check it treatment a block 1 12 okay treatment a block 1 12 okay treatment a block 2 15 okay treatment a block 2 15 treatment a block 3 14 you should be very careful treatment a block 3 14 okay right same thing i will copy and paste if you want you can uh, cross check it and we must be very careful while selecting data like that because this is very important so data enter enter is over for 2 way ANOVA in this way we will have how to enter data for 2 way ANOVA if you have any queries regarding entering data in a 2 way ANOVA please do comment to me thank you so much for watching